dolls, it's me, JB. It is Friday and time for some girl chat. And today, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. So, with the season and everything that's going on, I've been noticing I'm having some scheduling issues. So, I thought, you know what, I'm going to start filming this um, segment while I'm getting ready because it just kind of will work, I think. We, we will see. I'm going to give it a try. Maybe I will. Um, finish my makeup before I finish all my things or maybe I'll finish all my things before I finish my makeup. It just really kind of depends. So anyway, I don't have too many terrible places to go today. The main thing I have to do today is work. So I'm just going to be doing a basic look. So hopefully I'm get this finished at the same time. Um, I will try to mention what I'm using when I'm using it. If I remember, I'm not going to promise y'all know me. I'm going to start chatting and then lose my mind. Um, I have already moisturized and used a oil and um, Smashbox Photo Finish because I was using an oil and um, I did not use my Becca that I love and adore mainly because I'm using the oil because I needed a little bit more today. Um, I have primed my eyes with um, Urban Decay. I actually like their anti-aging primer the best. Um, so anyway, that's what I've done so far. If you wanted to know, now let's get started. So I don't know if any of y'all have bought any um, um, clothes from Walmart. I'm not a big Walmart clothing shopping kind of person, but I needed some loungewear. And y'all, I don't know if y'all have noticed this. It was just totally and completely ridiculous. But why does loungewear cost Fifty million quadrillion dollars. I kid you not. Like I was at Victoria's Secrets and I was looking at loungewear and I was just like, "Why am I going to spend twenty five dollars to sit around in something like that?" Is totally completely ridiculous. So I was at Walmart one day and I was like, you know, let me just check out, see what they have, and just kind of see if I see anything that I'm like, you know this would work so I didn't find anything in the store that I like so what I ended up doing was going to their um, website and kind of just looking around and seeing you know what I could find and you know what I saw that just like tickled my fancy and they had this line I think it's called Athletica or something like that so don't don't quote me but they had like some booty shorts or what I call booty shorts for my age. And they had um, some um, like, I believe they call them Bermuda, Bermuda something. Some The shorts that are a little bit longer that come above your knee. I'm not sure what, exactly what they call. But they had some of those. And I was like, okay, you know, I'll give these a try. And so I did and really, really liked them. Well, I decided I wanted some long ones since, you know, it's getting a little bit colder. And they had some that were a little bit longer. And I thought, you know, I'm going to try these out. I like the brand and I got them and I really liked them. So then I started looking like, what else? What what else? What are these other jewels at Walmart that I haven't known about? So actually they had in their junior section some super cute like little sweatshirty type types, type types, type tops. Um, one I have on right now that says, Ugh, the struggle is real, which I thought was cute. And it was like seven bucks. So I was like, you know, I can lounge in that. Like, that's no big deal. I can actually even wax in this. Like, that's not, you know, it's not something that, like, I spent so much money on that I'm going to feel like, oh, crap, don't get any wax or anything on it, which is one of my biggest things. Hopefully I'm still in frame. I think I framed everything up when I looked down. I'm afraid I'm not. But, um... That's like one of my biggest struggles when it comes to different types of um, clothes that I have to wear. Like, how workable is this when I have to work? Because I still have to be able to work. So when I when I look at things, I'm like, yeah, I don't want something that's going to just tear apart the first time in the wash. But I don't want something that's so expensive that I can't work in it. Or that I can't lounge around in it because, you know... You want to be comfortable. I mean, I don't know anyone else who walks around their house and brunt chills. Maybe you do. I'm not that chick, though. I'm just not that chick. I don't walk around the house in four-inch chills. But I have to admit, I was pleasantly 
pleasantly surprised by um, Walmart because I just never really bought anything from them before. Sorry, I had to come in with a deep, another brush because I want that's a little bit deeper. But, um, oh, sorry. Um, my, with the setup up here, my um, brushes are in a different place because I usually have them like right in front of me. So all of a sudden my hand-eye coordination of where stuff should be is a little bit off. But um, anyway, I digress. We shall continue on. But um, yeah, so I was pleasantly surprised by that. I was really like, go on Walmart with your bad self. And they seem to make it through the wash pretty well. Um, they get those like little beady beadies on them. But like the short shorts, I paid maybe four bucks for. The, um, the ones that come right by the knee, I think it were five. And then the long ones, I think were ten. I'm not for sure, for sure on that. Do not quote me on those prices because I am not sure about that. So speaking of Walmart, Black Friday, which was last week, this today is Thursday, November the 30th, that I'm actually filming this on because I am way, 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 way off schedule. And so Black Friday, which I actually planned on going out for, and then I started looking at the ads and I really didn't see anything that made me go, you know, I really need to go out and get that. Like there was nothing that made me go, yes, I am going to fight crazy people to get that because it's that important. There was nothing that made me feel that way. So since there was nothing that made me feel that way, I decided to keep my little happy butt at the house until I had to work. And then I was like, okay, I guess I'll, I'll go to work now. But yeah, there wasn't really much out. I, um, I did have a friend who went out who texted me and was like, oh my gosh, that's crazy. But I didn't see anything that made me go, maybe I guess maybe there just wasn't anything that I needed. So I just didn't notice, but I didn't really see anything that made me go, yes, I have got to have that. I'm going to go and stand in line for it. There's not many things that I think that I'm going to stand in line for anything. I, anyway, I did want a Blu-ray player because my TV in my bedroom has a player that's hooked to it, but my living room new TV does not. And so it's hard to find just Blu-ray players that aren't like a smart Blu-ray player. Um, cause my TV is already a smart TV. So what's the point of paying that extra money? So, I'm having a hard time with it. I've only been able to find one. And the only place that I found that had a deal for it on Black Friday was only $10 off. Well, I ain't standing in all that for just $10. Like, that is not something that I am willing to do. So I said, you know, I'll just pass on it this year. You know, I'll just chill and do my job and and let it let that be what it's going to be for this year. So... I didn't go out Black Friday. I didn't really even hear many people say that. I had a couple of friends who said that they went out, but not for like anything where they felt like this is a life and death, death, life and death, none of it is. But this is like something so big that I really, really got to get it today because the deal is just that fabulous. Like I didn't hear anyone say anything along those lines. So I don't think there was really anything much out there to kind of to get the one thing that I've noticed and it's probably because I am getting old but um, kids nowadays don't seem to have really learned manners like I did as a kid I don't know if anyone else has noticed this but me but it seems like like when I was younger like manners that was like a necessity not having manners was not something that wasn't was you know acceptable if you were not on your yes ma'am no ma'am please and thank you like you didn't get things i mean you might have got something to knock upside the head but you know nowadays i hear so many kids and they're talking to their parents and their parents will ask them a question and they're like no or they're like yeah and i'm like that that would have got me knocked upside the head. 
Like, I don't know about y'all. I don't know what kind of family you came from, but there was not an option of a yes ma'am or a no ma'am. Like, that was not how it happened. You either said it or you had a knot on your head. Like, that was just what it was. But it seems like now kids are not taught that as much. And even when it comes to their teachers, they, they still, you know, they may say Mrs. or Mr., but they do not say yes ma'am and no ma'am. And it seems like it's kind of rubbed off on like the rest of society too. Like I even noticed, and this is not to say anything about anybody um, in particular, but I even notice sometimes when I'm at, um, wow, I'm gonna call out. Well, they're not actually anybody that I know, so I'm gonna call out people though. I, <laughs> not on purpose, but like people at church, I was raised to say pastor whoever or, you know, pastor whatever, whoever that it is. And it seems like now this, that has all gone away. Like that whole, and maybe it's just an issue of just overall respect. Like maybe we've lost respect for different things and different people and different positions. I'm not exactly sure what it is but it just seems like that like the respect that you used to have when you were a kid like a lot of people just do not have now like they do not have the same level of respect and I still you know I still got my yes ma'ams and my no ma'am because I'm afraid to get my head knocked off like I'm not gonna even try it you know but it, it also surprises me with a lot of adults, too. And I, I mentioned church because that's the one that I've noticed. I noticed it at, um, most recently when someone was talking to one of our pastors and they called them by their first name. And I, you know, I have no problem with them being called by their first name. But you also put a pastor on it. So that's just the way that I was taught. And I understand not everybody was taught like that. And so, sorry, this brush for some reason is not wanting to work with me over this glitter. So I'm having a hard time. But, um, yeah, and now I'm starting to start from the wrong end. But that's just kind of like what it is. And it's like it's being knocked off on the next generation. So it's like, are we just going to totally and completely forget the fact that we're supposed to have manners are we just gonna you know stop that and I I mean really I don't know the solution I don't know if if it's just that parents are not enforcing it or if it's not enforced in school or if we just have a generation of disrespectful kids I hate to think that we just have a full and total um, generation of disrespectful kids because that would be very very disheartening um, but it does it makes me just kind of go how oh, when I see this and I was someplace the other day and um, this mom had asked her kid or something like oh do you want or do you this or whatever and they're like yeah and I'm like woo yeah like like, I would never just, yeah. And the parent just seemed to be totally okay with it. And I need to wax my eyebrows. Just realize that. Just to let y'all know. Don't judge me. Because I know a lot of y'all out there sitting there need y'all. I actually need my lip wax too. So I can bring that up. But still, I know a lot of y'all out there need y'all eyebrows waxed. But I actually need to sit and take some time to wax mine. But um, we just have a generation of, I think, just where manners are just being thrown out of the window. I mean, I don't, I'm trying to remember like, if it's like, I know it wasn't just my household because I know a lot of people that were my age that, you know, yes ma'am and no ma'am. And I don't remember anybody, any of my friends, parents, like, you know, pointing out saying, oh, she's so respectful or anything like that. Like it was something new because it shouldn't be anything new. I just, I guess I just don't get it. 
I just wonder like what we're losing with this next generation. I already feel like we're losing the art of conversation because of the fact that we spend so much time texting each other. We spend so much time on social media that we are just like forgetting how to like speak to people. And I say like a lot and I should, I say like, and so, and whatever is not, but it's just like when people get together, they just don't even know how to carry on a conversation, how to talk or like anything to talk about. Or if they do talk just about stuff, they're referring back to stuff from Facebook. And it's like, no, let's talk about real life. Let's talk about what's happening. And if your response to me is, well, I posted it on Facebook. Well, you finna tell me again. Because that's not how I find out about you. So th that's a whole nother, um, it's a whole nother, um, bag of worms oh and I was using the Anastasia of Beverly Hills prison palette which I really really love I just pulled out the Too Faced best year ever because it was on top and I needed a shade that was not in there that's just a little bit lighter um but anyway as I digress see I haven't remembered anything until this point to share so that's where we are with that but yeah it's just it's I guess it's disheartening it's just really, really disheartening because I hate to think that, you know, in 20 years, all of a sudden, there's not going to be any yes ma'ams or no ma'ams and, and what. And, and then sometimes I wonder because I've moved to this different area here, um, you know, in the Dallas area, there seems to be a lot of people from, you know, different places. So I'm thinking maybe that's just a Southern thing. Maybe that's, you know, us Southern folks and these people that are from different areas, maybe that's not a big deal for them. Maybe their kids um, remembering their yes ma'ams and their no ma'ams and their this and that, maybe that's not important. And so they haven't taught them that. So it's not that big of a deal. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I just don't, I know that I don't, I don't like the idea of kids not having manners. Not that it's going to make them a criminal or anything crazy like that, but I just think that it's important to understand and respect, one, people who are older than you and people who are in authority. And it just, it just is what it is. I think we just have a, an issue with that in our society and it's, it's sad. It's sad when I see it. I get, it disappoints me when I see it. When I see um, people not expecting their kids to give them that extra level or su of support. Or when I even see adults not giving that extra, um, did I say support? I meant respect. Um, that extra respect that they should give because what you're supposed to do and I'm from the south and that's what you do you just give that respect to those positions and to those people and it just is what it is it just is what it is I don't know why that's been it's, it has been bothering me so bad lately maybe because um, last week kids were out of school and so when you go places you notice it more and then from there I started noticing instances with adults and so it's like it like morphed into more than just oh this is a kid thing to oh this is the thing right now like this is the thing like you know why are we not doing that and even the whole like holding the door and and stuff like that like all this stuff is it's like dead and gone it's like everyone is just like I need to get where I need to get or they're too busy on their devices to see what's going on around them. And I had lunch with a great friend of mine. We actually have lunch once every two weeks. And we were actually talking about um, address books and count. Well, we started talking about calendars and then we got into address books. And so when we were talking about address books, she was talking about how, you know, 
how she can't, you know, has to, she keeps, likes to keep an address book, which I do too, to keep up with numbers for people because the whole problem is, you know, we got these cell phones and if anything happens to these cell phones, then we are screwed, like seriously, seriously screwed because who has a phone number memorized? Like, I barely have my phone number memorized. I realized the other day when so, when I was asked for my phone number, I was like, um, nine, um, hold on a second. You know, like we don't have these things memorized anymore. And it's, it's kind of sad actually that we don't have anybody's number memorized. It's like, do not, don't get arrested. <laughs> not that anyone's going to get arrested, but don't get arrested. So like, you know, because if you do, there is a pretty good chance that you're going to stay in jail because you ain't got nobody's phone number memorized to make your phone calls. So it's like, it's sad, but it's so, so true. It's like, we don't have anybody's number memorized. I just recently got my mom's number memorized. And then I realized, well, if I really, really needed somebody... She's not the person I'd call because she's further away. Like, now I gotta memorize somebody else's phone number, someone who lives closer because she's too far away for me to have her as the one number that I can remember. So it's like, that causes issues, but. it. Um, so anyway, so we were talking about about that and the whole device thing. And I think that's just, that's the problem. Like. We have all gotten so caught up on devices and and having everything where it's digital and then we have a generation of kids who are doing the same thing. Like everything is digital and and when you're on digital you don't have to, you know, talk to people. I mean, which is fine if that's what you want. But you just kind of start to lose the skills of, like, how to communicate with people, how to react to people, how to just hold a conversation. Like, what are we, I mean, it's like, kind of like, what are we doing? Where, I mean, at this point in time, you can just, you know, not have to leave your house. And there's a lot of people who don't because you don't have to. I mean, you can order in your groceries. You can um, you can order in your groceries. You can get on Amazon and get whatever you want from there. You can do. You can go to school online. You do not have to be out in the world if you don't want to be out in the world. And it's 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 sad. It's. At least it's sad to me. I mean, maybe, maybe there's a, everyone else is like, girl, you crazy. I don't want to be out in the world anyway. Like, I don't want to be around people. People crazy. <laughs> so maybe I'm the only person, but I just think that it's sad. I don't think that's the way that we are intended to be. We are intended to, like, spend actual real time with people, which is off of the internet, which is off of Facebook, which is off of even Snapchat, which I love so dearly. And, you know, that's the main reason why I started, I decided to take a little bit of a break because I just felt like I was connected. But then also, sorry, I'm getting messages too. I was, I'm connected, but then I was so disconnected all at the same time. And that's a weird place to be in. And a really weird feeling to have. And I am not, I am one of those like weird kind of hybrid where I'm a task oriented person, but I'm also a people oriented person. So I like to be around people for a minute and then I want to do my tasks and then I want to be around people for a minute. Then I want to do my tasks. Like that's just kind of, you know, how I am. And so I don't know, it makes makes me sad makes me really i'm sad today with all, <laughs> with all this stuff i'm like i'm sad and then i can't find the brush that i'm look, looking for still didn't find it so we're gonna have to press on oh actually i'll show you these these are some i found these and i think either tj Maxx or marshall it's ellen trace um tracy and they were like 10 bucks and i just bought them try and 
actually at first when I bought them I was like oh, I don't know if I'm gonna like them but I really like this blendable blush and bronzing palette doesn't have any other names but it was just one of those like random finds I was there and I was just like mm, I'm going to I forgot this is not an angler because I can't find it I, oh there it is I was overlooking it I was like I'm going to just go into TJ Maxx or Marshall's one of the see where I'm from there's not a Marshall's there's a Marshall's here and so now when I go in up they seem to be the exact same to me like I cannot I, I, I can't I don't know what the difference is or if there is a difference and so it's been messing with my head but anyway I went there and I got that and I was like it I know it wasn't any more than I know it wasn't any more than ten dollars um, but yeah, I really, 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 really like it. Um, for the price, it's actually a, a cute, um, a nice, um, a cute, a nice amount of colors and it's, it's, it works. It's blush. So here's my problem. Blush to me is just blush. Like it's not something that you need to spend a whole lot of money on. Like it's blush. And because of that, I have a tendency to, like, I have some Tarte, some of Tarte blushes. Um, but I have a tendency not to, like, spend a whole lot of money on the items that I feel like are, you know, you can find it with anybody. Like, it's, it's, a, it's a dime a dozen. And that's how I feel about blush. Um, I don't have any besides the Tarte. I don't have any, and that actually was a holiday set that I got of, of I think four or five different ones. I don't have any exp expensive blushes because it's not, there's a lot of drugstore ones and whatever that um, work just as good. So I'm not going to spend money on that. Like there's just, there's no, there's no purpose or point in it. And I'm really big about purpose and point. Now, eyeshadow palettes, yeah, because of the fact that they are a wee bit different and you really more need to um, get better quality with those. But for blushes, to me, one blush is the same as the next blush. That's the same as the next blush. That is the same as the next blush. So it is what it is. You just go on with it. So Ellen Tracy, which I'd heard the name before, but I had never tried any of the products. And so I thought I'll buy a blush and I think I also bought a is it contour yeah medium um fair to medium contour and highlight palette and they say fair to medium like there's a medium to dark and um I didn't see one so that's the reason why I got the fair to medium but I was like oh there's some highlighters in there that I'll give a try and actually they're pretty good they're actually pretty good I was actually surprised by the um by the um look of them and so of course this is also i just put this over the top of a becca one so of course it also sparkles it up just a little bit more but anyway i was just pleasantly pleasantly surprised at that so cool i was like that's cool that's cool i can i can deal with that i can deal with that so i think i have rambled on quite a bit and actually i'm almost done with my makeup so i guess i can I will put on, sorry, that brush that I was using was not, was not doing what I wanted it to do. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to run real quick and put on my, um, mascara, mascara. I don't think I'm going to wear lipstick today because I'm going to work. I don't like to really wear lipstick when I work, um, unless I'm doing a makeup client because, um, I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know why. I just don't. It's just one of those weird things about me. I'm not super, super huge into um, lipstick colors. I have a whole bunch of lipstick colors. And, and I mean, I mainly have them to show clients. But I'm not really, really big. I'm a, I'm a lip glossy type of girl. Like, I'm like lip glossy. Lip glossy. Kind of, kind of high roll. So... I am going to put on some mascara and then I will wrap this up. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button, press subscribe. You can find me 
on all the social medias at Spice by JB. Best way to reach me is through the Facebook Messenger since I only get on social media um, every week to two weeks. So um, there are updates that are updated through an app and I can actually, if you, if you um, comment on one of those, I can actually up I can actually comment back on those through the app, but to get on actual Facebook, it's, I'm trying to back off of that a little bit. So after I actually rewatch this, I will know if this is something I should continue to do or if this is something that I should be like, okay, nope, you cannot do these two at once. It's really going to depend on how much I rambled because I don't know yet. I ramble anyway, but we're going to see if the rambling is worse when I add it with the putting on makeup. We shall see. So anyway, until next time, stay gorgeous.